they made the ultimate sacrifice. To us, they gave their very lives. What can we give them? I think we should have the best memorial in the country to police officers in Chicago, and that's what we intend to build. Embraced by Chicago's shoreline, snug in the shadow of Soldier Field, a gently rolling tract of land quietly calls out tribute to Chicago heroes. This is Gold Star Family's Memorial and Park, a sacred place along the precious lakefront set aside to honor our fallen heroes. It is here we will build a monument to honor them, to set their names in stone, for all to see, for all to remember. I just think it's important that people remember Eric Lee, the husband, the son, the father, not just Eric Lee, the police officer, because his life was so much more than that. Officer Eric Lee was shot to death when he came to the rescue of a beating victim. He was 37 years old. Eric is one of the warmest people you would ever know. Just loving, giving, supportive, encouraging. He was my knight in shining armor and uh, my soulmate. And he was the very proud father of Erica. Seeing her without her father is very difficult. Uh, being a widow at 30 is very difficult. Officer John Knight was shot to death while making a traffic stop. For his family, some days are good, but some are unbearably sad. On Father's Day, when we have to go to the cemetery. Lauren was five years old when she lost her dad. Her brothers were six and seven. I remember going downstairs, that's where they were at, and I just, you know, I was crying, and I told them that their daddy was gone. That he, you know, got shot by somebody at work. Officer Brian Strauss was just 33 years old when he was killed in the line of duty. He shared his love for life with his parents, his sisters, and an entire community a community that came together after Brian was killed trying to protect their children from gangs. He just couldn't understand that it wasn't right that these kids couldn't go out and ride their bicycles or play in the streets or people couldn't sit on their porches. And uh, he thought he could make a difference. And believe it or not, I really believe he did make a difference. As terrible as a loss it was, I knew first that he died doing what he loved and that he made a difference. There's very few people that can say that they make a difference and that they die doing what they love. Brian had followed his sister onto the police force. I had lost a lot of friends over the years and it's hard enough losing your friends, but then when it's your brother, it's different. Sergeant Ed O'Reilly lost his brother, Sergeant Philip O'Reilly. Philip was on patrol when his squad car was broadsided by a tow truck. There was 10 of us children. I'm the second oldest, and Philip was the youngest. And he was also, in many ways, uh, a hero of mine. Family was the most important thing to Philip. He himself had two children and four stepchildren. He wanted children his whole life because he came from a family of 10, so I actually had Elizabeth and Phil a little bit later. My son, Philip John, always says, Mom, did you know you're a widow now? I said, yes, I know that, because um, he didn't know what that word meant before. 
The passing of time may dull the pain for these families, but the emotional wounds never fully heal. Gold Star President Gladys Young learned that when her husband Gregory was slain in 1997. It's still one day at a time. It is one day at a time. I stepped up to be president to help someone else because there were Gold Star members there to help pull me out. Irma Ruiz Collins was 16 when her mother was killed by a deranged gunman back in 1988. Irma Ruiz, the officer, left behind not only her daughter, but also three young sons and a husband. The shock is not what it was, of course, when you, you first find out what happened, but it's still tough after all these years. And it always will be. It doesn't matter what age. Grief is, is what it is. A loss is what it is. And especially from a person who was not only my mother, but my best friend, that's hard. The families of these officers will never forget the sacrifice their loved ones made, and neither should we. These people were more than police officers. They were husbands, mothers, fathers, and brothers, friends and neighbors. Ultimately, they were heroes. They gave their lives protecting our streets and schools, our homes and businesses. It is now our duty to ensure their courage, their valor, and their final sacrifice is not forgotten. The Chicago Police Memorial Foundation is now making it possible for us to honor them. The foundation is a recognized not-for-profit organization. Its primary goal is to transform Gold Star Families Memorial and Park into Chicago's next great lakefront landmark. Nearly 1,000 people attended the foundation's inaugural event at Soldier Field, a moving candlelight vigil in 2004. This event fostered the dream of an everlasting memorial. The vision grew as landscape architects graciously donated their time and talent to formulate ideas to redesign the park and create a fitting memorial. The final designs are now committed to blueprints, and donations are needed to make the concept a reality. Chicago police officers themselves are contributing to the $5 million cause with payroll contributions, t-shirt drives, and the sales of uniform memorial pins. Now, your help is needed to reach the goal. Police officers every day put their lives on the line, and this is a way that they can say thank you to those police officers who have made the ultimate sacrifice. We've gone to Washington and Springfield memorials. I think we should have one here in Chicago, at home, where they lived, served, protect, and died. It's wonderful. I mean, that they'll be able to walk up and people going to the Bears game will be able to stop and maybe for a second think about what it's truly about. I want them to remember the life he had, the life he gave, the life, you know, that he poured into the community. It's not just about his death. It's not just about death. It's about hope. The hope that these officers did not die in vain. That someday, no child will lose a father or mother to violence. No mother or father will lose a child. Chicago police are in the forefront of the battle to keep our families safe. More than 460 have given their lives in that battle. The Gold Star Family Memorial is one small way we can say thank you. We remember you. We will never forget how you lived and how you died.